Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw... That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it, but she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so beautiful, just like you. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college and career, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. 
she was looking for escape. I only saw what I wanted to see. Until it was almost too late. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything, and it did, for a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. all feels like someone else's life. Whatever happens, Rachel, I'm here. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I sent her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rich wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. 
I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I think I need to lie down. I wonder what James is thinking right now. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? <sighs> you have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I... I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe. I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Maybe try the truth for a change? What do you mean? Well, you did lie to your daughter for 15 years. This is true. And that's why I need your help. I only care about Rachel, Chloe. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. I... I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling.
Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Sorry that tonight turned out so... Uh, differently. That's all right. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Thanks. But... why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. so weird to look at this now. Can't believe I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this.
She can barely keep them all contained. The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. Hey, you always be safe. Sure. But from who? survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so... easy. Almost sad to see all this... effort. Rachel could use another subject, but which one? tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. On stage, I think Rachel said,
Rachel was incredible as Prospera. <laughs> I won't forget a second of it. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. For Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Wish there was some way to make this brighter. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. You might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? You remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I 
I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Honestly, I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will, but even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? 
Those are some of my favorite memories. We never... That wasn't... You. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. Alright, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? <laughs> Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing I'll just... theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? 
I have a question to ask you first. I mean, a favor. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll meet you in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Is mom playing music? One day, I'll look at that and think, huh, my old home, and not fuck this shithole forever. No way. Mom actually sold her ring? For three hundred dollars? David really is moving in. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Shit. I just give that to mom again for Mother's Day? I wonder who gave this to mom. So, if 
I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer. What the hell? One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. 
Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. You're welcome, plant. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. I told you, three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> You are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Your hair! When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom... I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh! How is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you 
from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David? The idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you. And neither am I. David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. You gave up any right to privacy when Chloe, you... I asked David to help me yesterday, and he only did what he thought was best. You knew? You knew that David went through all of my... That was before I talked to him and explained why I disagreed with that method. But Chloe, if I'd been able to trust you in the first place... I'm done with this. Chloe, stop. I know why you're acting this way. And I know you're gonna regret it. Come here. Take a look at this. This... is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was... killed... near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. It's a joke about all the trouble we were gonna get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right. All right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck.
with me here. salvage this I need a manual, but I'm really glad it's here. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Nothing doing. I bet Dad would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. This thing is going to the fuck up. Got a special treat for all you Sunday Funday listeners out there. It's pretty loose. Live at Seder How Studios, can I tighten it? Skip Matthews, lead singer of Pisshead, one of the Bay's hottest new bands. Say hi to the fans, Skip. Hi, fans. Now, Skip, I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Not helping. Uh, that, that's that's true. Keeping the kitties safe by day and melting their faces off by night. Is that the plan, Skip? Uh, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Nothing doing. Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from Pisshead. And if you haven't heard these guys yet, what I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. If anyone complains, what do you tell them, Skip? Uh, Pisshead rules? Nailed it. Much better. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. This connection is pretty shaky. 
I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Deadly electric glove. Nope, not gonna help. Distributed. Well, fuck. Once we came, spark plugs busted, carbon deposits. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey, holy shit, your hair, it's so <laughs> badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot, but yeah, badass too. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. You're practically a certified mechanic now. <laughs> Even have the shirt to prove it. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? 
What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Seriously, Frank? If you think I would pocket a thousand bucks of your money, you're even dumber than you look. I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. Why do you care so much? Because fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro- Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to. And how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. Don't need to get crazy. Oh, you fucking bitch!
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. That guy you have a file on. Damon Merrick. Why does he hate you so much? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? N nothing Of course. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But... When he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. Then Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then... We were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have, um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. 
Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. <laughs> oh man. Jackpot. so many of these home when dad died and not a single one described how I felt one more hour of waiting and I would have read that being in a hospital this long sucks I just want Rachel to wake up and then I'll feel better I owe Frank Big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh. That's weird. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. John Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? Is this Drew's room? Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. All right then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. Here to see Drew? Yeah. Well, it was nice meeting you. Likewise. Oh, excuse me. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure actually. It's too early to tell. So 
sorry to hear it. It's it's all good. Hmm. Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. I figured it might fit with my new barbarian look. You know, a war paint. Awesome. Nerds. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? <laughs> no. Somehow, we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. <laughs> Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. That'll be an interesting read. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. I think the football team needs thicker helmets. Yep. Definitely too many concussions. Those must be from Steph's parents. Oh, I want to eat that. Right now. Damn. Drew looks really low. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. I, I mean, no pressure. I, I know it's gonna take a while. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh. Uh, right, right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, y you don't want that pudding, right? Uh, I'll take it off your hands for you. Over my dead body. Wonder if a little friendly competition will cheer Drew up. 
Let's see if I can convince Drew that I need the pudding more than he does. Good thing we're in a hospital, because they'll know exactly what to do with your corpse. Oh. <laughs> you don't scare me, Chloe Price. Come on, Drew. Have I ever let you down? Yes. Now you can watch me eat this. Is that what your coach would want? You don't want to lose your edge, you know. You're getting a little soft. And by soft, I mean fat. If you loved pudding as much as I do, you might understand. Hey, it's better to have loved and lost, right? No, that's something losers say. Who are you calling a loser? I'm not the one who lost the use of my leg. She went there. Oh, shit. Damn, Chloe. That was cold. If you think that was cold, you should feel my blood when I murder you for that pudding. She's not gonna quit, is she? Okay. I give in. We can share it. <laughs> All right. But don't get used to it. <laughs> Sucker. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you even in my room? Mmm, so good. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Hey, can I sign your cast? Go for it. Hmm, something encouraging. But not too encouraging. There you go. Thanks a lot. Anytime. It's kind of nice that I can bum around here while I'm waiting for Rachel. Damn. An eight out of ten. Alright. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Next time, you better bring me a snack. Next time, for sure. Oh, and Chloe? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Those guys look exhausted. You mean it's controlled? No. It's completely out. It extinguished itself. No visitors. Huh? You didn't have to bring me ice cream. Is that... Samantha Myers? I feel bad. Holy shit. Is 
that Nathan Prescott? It wasn't your fault. I'm a klutz. Oh, God. Nathan and Samantha? Together? What have I done? I should have seen that biker, though. Rachel's mom does not look okay. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Rachel's okay. Really can't wait to see her. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel. I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him for everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. 
Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I figured he would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is... Will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house key's just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe, for everything. Elliot? Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's... different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's... uh... It, it's nice. Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of... <laughs> happened. Uh. No, not, not a problem at all. So, what's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. At the moment, I'm here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh, she... Got stabbed by a psycho. Oh my god. Yeah. It was insane. Holy shit. Wait, are, are you okay? I mean, I'm probably not okay, but I can deal with that later. Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. I'll make sure to keep you posted. Right now, I'm here to take care of Rachel. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously, something's going on. 
I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. If it can rain ash, I guess it could snow in LA. the big one. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Secret key. Now to find the secret lock. I feel like I've heard that name before. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> Pro tip, when digging for secrets, try the DA's computer. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act.
James sure keeps lots of files on people. More sherry. More sherry. <laughs> locked drawer inside locked office. Seems promising. Welcome to Shadyville. James's stamp collection. Sarah sent all these letters. James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah.
James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? say hope James actually has this evidence don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is unless I send him a picture This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? Did Damon really shoot someone? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Could this be the evidence? Damon and Knives seem like a solid bet. Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. that again. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching. 
I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Maybe I should dig around for some evidence. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <laughs> but where would it be? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? 
This is Rachel's house, right? Did you really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah! Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Honestly, Elliot, you, you can judge me all you want, but it's pretty fucked up that you're here right now, and I don't have time for this. When? What? When will you have time? For me? You have all the time in the world for... for Rachel. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just... take a step back. No! You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. Uh, I can see why you'd think that, but it wasn't her fault. It's never her fault. That's the point. Stop... Stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God, oh, look. I I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but... This isn't about that. S seriously, man. Y you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And... I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot. I, I promise. N no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy! It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. L look, I I'm sorry. But I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right.
All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and we should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is in danger. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. This whole thing has been a cry for help. Help me. Help me now! Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I feel trapped. Boxed in. I desperately want to leave this situation. It takes a lot of guts to tell me all this. And I want you to know that I will always be there for you. No matter what. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here. What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, shit, um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I think you didn't. You didn't have to. You didn't. Right? Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. 
you were pretty sure mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? it's better this way not knowing then I'll always be the perfect dad how many people get to say that I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Homicidal drug dealer, spooky deer head. A knife might not be a bad idea. Never thought I'd have to say that.
hate my daughter. Can't you understand why does Your he... Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to... Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got the money right here. Your money. Want it? How the fuck? Ugh. Ugh. Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! You are one stupid, crazy bitch. Should've never got mixed up in this shit. The DA's family? An out-of-town junkie? And now, high school girls? What a fucking mess. It's okay. A girl's first time should be special. No. Not so tough now, are you? Please, don't do this. You're not gonna get anywhere being a pussy. Hey, touch her again, and I'll kill you. Is that so? Try me. No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Pink. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> You don't need to worry about them right now. 
sit. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. Th that's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No. You're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and, and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. 
He doesn't it's deserve... It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Don't you want to see her? You came here for it. You got sober. You deserve the chance to know your daughter. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later. Hey. talk to Chloe alone for a minute okay sweetie we'll be right outside How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed. <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. I 
failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny. You seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know. Wherever she is. She loves you. Very much. How... Do you know that? Because, why should she be any different from the rest of us?
Thank you.